All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores coming with a very interesting Rico report for the Burgundy and Gold. I just want to talk about all of the rumors that are swirling around the NFL that may concern the Washington football team or directly concern us and only concern us. Now, again, all of these are rumors, so none of them are guaranteed to happen. And some of them are just speculation, and it's just open-ended questions for y'all to answer in the comments. So some of these are not even likely to happen at all, like actually very unlikely. But still, I want to talk about all of the rumors concerning the Washington football team. So let's get it. All right, so first up, there's a rumor that the Washington football team could end up keeping their name as football team through 2021 as they continue the process of finding a permanent new name, says team president Jason Wright. So we may be the Washington football team for the rest of the season and maybe the entire 2021 season, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will be the permanent name. Whether you prefer it or not, just letting y'all know, it will be the Washington football team at least through 2021. Also, Another rumor going around, well, really is technically a fact. The Patriots consider Washington a threat to sign quarterback Cam Newton this offseason, per report from Albert Breer. So I'm not sure what that exactly means. Do with that information as you will. Doesn't necessarily mean we are interested, but the Patriots, just based off of their sources, who they've talked to, and I guess strategy-wise and stuff like that, they consider us a competitor for Cam Newton services in 2021 and beyond. Also huge news probably the biggest news out of anything we're going to talk about this video is that a source close to the situation says that washington has already begun scouting the top quarterbacks available in this year's draft with haskins's future in washington looking really ugly i mean i think he's done i don't even think it's just on field play it's probably a lot of stuff behind the scenes and it seems like ron rivera doesn't really like him and ron rivera isn't technically married to him because he didn't draft him he acquired him when he became the head coach of his team. And he clearly doesn't like Kyle Allen. Because if he did, he would have already announced that Kyle Allen was the starter for the remainder of this season. And it wouldn't have been a report coming out that no matter how well Kyle Allen plays or not, they plan on Alex Smith starting at some point anyway. And then Alex Smith clearly isn't the future. So even if Alex Smith is the starter for the remainder of this season, we still may go quarterback in the first round. So just letting y'all know whether you want a first round quarterback or not, we more than likely won't be bad enough to get a Trevor Lawrence, but Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, all of those guys are on the table. And I think somebody like a Trey Lance will fit our offense the best, especially with him in North Dakota State running NFL-like schemes. And he's doing a lot of pro-style stuff. He's having the ID, potential blitzers, make audibles, read the field, all types of grown people stuff. And he's extremely mobile. He may be the most mobile quarterback between him, Justin Fields, and Trevor Lawrence. So... I like the idea of a Trey Lance a lot. Trevor Lawrence is my favorite. Justin Fields is also really good. But now that I'm starting to look at more Trey Lance film, I'm not going to lie. I'm loving the Trey Lance idea. The only problem is his level of competition that he faced at North Dakota State. And he hasn't played a lot of games. But at the end of the day, like I said earlier, he's already had to deal with a lot of pro-level, NFL-level concepts and schemes. So he's actually pretty far ahead. And he's already working with quarterback guru Quincy Avery like weeks ago. So I feel like by the time the draft comes around, he's going to be ready to go. And he may be a ready to start day one type of guy more than i expected i thought he may have to sit a year like a month ago but now that i'm really diving into his tape and his profile he may be a day one type of guy he's looking like a higher ceiling carson wentz he may be 2017 carson wentz but faster so i'm loving that potential but yeah again just to let y'all know apparently the washington football team has already begun scouting the top quarterbacks in this upcoming draft and it makes sense because no quarterback on this roster is ron rivera's guy he didn't draft any of them even kyle allen technically was an undrafted free agent that he picked up two years ago and then kyle allen's the same guy that got on fire from carolina which is how he ended up here in the first place and he was only willing to give up a fifth round pick for him so that just shows you how much he cares about him along with how he already plans on having alex smith as a starter at some point this season anyway now to just a lot of out there rumors that we're not linked to these guys but you know they're available and i'm curious as to whether or not y'all want to go try to get these guys so first up the texans are open to trading wide receiver will fuller and any other wide receivers on their roster so they're going complete reset and to be able to get somebody with the height and speed as a will fuller 
His main problem is that he's injury prone. Other than that, he's a great receiver. Let me know in the comments if y'all want Will Fuller and which y'all would be willing to give up for him. He is an injury prone speedster, so I wouldn't give up too much, but I'd be willing to try with how our receiving core looks right now. Also, there's a rumor going around that Julio Jones and Matt Ryan may be on a trade block for the Falcons. And we would have to give up an enormous amount of value to get those guys. And I highly doubt it happens because, again, as has been reported, Washington's already looking at the top quarterbacks in this draft. And you would easily have to give up at least one first round pick. I'm assuming two or maybe three to get both of them. But even just to get one of them, they're both going to cost at least one first round pick each. But I know there's some of y'all out there. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I wouldn't be mad at it with the plan of drafting the quarterback late in the draft, bringing in a veteran quarterback, and then drafting like offensive line or receiver in the first round. Now, if you can somehow acquire Matt Ryan without having to give up a first round pick, that isn't a bad scenario. I mean, again, I'm looking towards the future. What would get us to a Super Bowl the quickest? What would get us a Super Bowl victory the quickest before I'm married with kids? In my strongest opinion, I feel like taking one of these elite quarterbacks coming out of this draft will lead us to that path but Matt Ryan could give us some division wins and some playoff victories but I don't see us winning a Super Bowl with Matt Ryan and then also that's kind of banking on the short range future not the long-term future Matt Ryan won't be the answer for 10 to 15 more years also multiple teams are making a push to sign free agent wide receiver Antonio Brown his suspension is ending after week eight. And as of right now, the Seahawks are considered the front runner. So that receiving core can be filthy with DK Metcalf, Antonio Brown, and Tyler Lockett. That's ridiculous. They're already one of the only three undefeated teams in the NFL. And just adding Antonio Brown just virtually makes them unstoppable. Because who do you cover? But yeah, man, let me know in the comments if y'all want Antonio Brown. At this point, with us being in a developing year, I see no point, especially with him being an extreme locker room cancer at this point throughout his career maybe when we're in win now mode and we look like we're an antonio brown away from being super bowl contenders but right now bringing him in in this development mode while we're losing a bunch of games is only just going to cause him to act out even worse than he did for the patriots or the raiders or the steelers all of those teams are better and we're better than what we are currently right now imagine how he would act with us right now but ron rivera is the type of coach that if anybody could keep him under control is ron rivera but again this year is the worst time to do it. If he's still available in free agency next year or maybe the year after that, and we have a great roster, a great quarterback to even throw him the ball, a good offensive line, hopefully, then yeah. But right now, nah. That's a no for me, dog. But that's it for all the rumors. Just wanted to give y'all some of the rumors that's out there swirling around the past two weeks. Wanted to give y'all my opinion on them. And I also want to see how y'all feel about a lot of them in the comments. Let me know. Because these rumors are franchise changing. I mean, the fact that we're supposedly looking at drafting a quarterback in the first round. I mean, that's franchise changing. That's a whole new era. The possibility of us going to get a Cam Newton in free agency. And whoever we take in that first round, maybe like later in the first round, because right now they're trying to win the division. We may not end up winning the division, but we also may end up winning enough games to where we don't have a top seven pick. So maybe we'll end up taking like Trey Lance or a Zach Wilson and then having them learn behind a Cam Newton for like a year. Or maybe just a few games like how the Dolphins did with Tua behind Ryan Fitzpatrick. Even though Ryan Fitzpatrick has actually been playing pretty well and the Dolphins are overachieving, they feel like they're ready for their quarterback to go out there, especially get him a game right before the bye week so he can have an entire two weeks to basically work on all of his mistakes. He has film up there. He has two weeks to learn from his mistakes and all of that. Analyze what he did right, what he did wrong. Pretty interesting move. So you never know. We may do something like that. I mean, these rumors are pretty crazy and we'll never truly know if they're rumors if they'll actually materialize into something real, but we'll see. And as always, I appreciate the view. Please like the video if you liked it. If you learned anything, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Definitely hit that bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification every time I release a video like this, every time I come out with my live streams, every time I schedule my live streams, you'll get a notification every time I do something. And y'all know the content's gonna keep coming, so why not, you know what I'm saying? He did, but also, Really appreciate everybody that donates to the channel, man. Everybody that helps the channel out, man. All of the money is going right back into the channel. I really appreciate y'all. Shouts out to all of my sponsors that are also helping with the channel, especially the Pro Bowl sponsors whose names you see scrolling on the screen right now. Wouldn't be able to do it without y'all, man. I really appreciate it. And I have a surprise for y'all coming Friday. So any of y'all that like to come to the Friday podcast, or even if you don't, I have my little surprise coming to y'all Friday. So make sure y'all pull up and watch out for that. 
And yeah, man, I'll catch y'all later. I'll be in them comments, reading and replying. I'm out.